Yeah. I'm not saying that it has to be literally this, this yeah. but that's that's what's come from my, my deep self. Sour self. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's about helping parents not deal with their fr their frustrations of being yeah. in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Help teach teenagers cope as well mm -hmm. and help children learn before they're 60 mm -hmm. that they're, they're intrinsically of value. Yeah. It took taken me 60 years to believe it. <laughs> I don't think other kids should take that long. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Fantastic. Does that give you a flavour? Which one is flavour? Did that give you a, sort of an insight? Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I get what you mean. So that's the vibe. Mm. So whatever I do, mm. providing, um, providing it more Thank you so much for everyone who is watching. Smile, have a wonderful day. And here we are again um, today. Just a quick um, catch up. And of course, love life, as you can see. Um, yes just chilling and having a nice time people often ask me ah bring me and um say something mm. that's my tuesday just catching up with sister grace and comrade grace has um come to visit so yes we are having a wonderful time she is um catching up with um one of the key speakers um yesterday um her name is um sue so you tuned in juliet adishile welcome just um uh, bringing you quickly peter bray um just catching up with um sister grace and um enjoying ourselves after yesterday's um, celebrations for international women's day so she's here with me here in the flat so we're just catching up and just going to um, just talking about um, disability issues as a whole and um, how it impacts on everyone another event will be coming up um, on the 20th of June so something else will be coming up this time it will be in the House of Lords everyone is welcome to wherever you are we welcome you sister Yetunde um, uh, Juliet Adishele, for those who don't know, she's also a pastor, and of course, um, she was one of the people um, who sponsored us um, uh, a few years back on UK Africa Diaspora Forum with a few books. Always remembered, and thank you so much for that, sister and comrade Yetunde, and the husband plays beautifully. Uh, play saxophone and uh, if you're looking for someone who is playing saxophone his husband Peter uh, Adishile always plays saxophone beautifully so we appreciate you um, and um, many thanks for watching Martin Kuria a photographer um, beautiful photographs he loves photography and Kuria lazima ukuji unipige picha eh lazima ni kwe smart eh ni kwe smart Anyway, I am getting there and um, Korea, anytime you're ready, um, please um, take. I would love to. I want more photographs for myself and my team. Uh, thank you so much, um, Princess uh, um, Kim Dilim, who is also um, one of our princes in UK Africa Diaspora Forum. She participated um, the year before last year, 2017. We thank you for participation and of course she won uh, through her presentation uh, she um, mm -hmm. in the category of um, elegancy she walked the stage well done um, princess and she now loves um, doing um, I'm so happy to see her confidence by the way um, she loves um, dressing up and she loves beautiful clothes and stuff like that many thanks for that and one thing she also believes in um i'll let her say what she believes in but she pushes and supports um disadvantaged kids and that's really really important to us in uk africa diaspora forum which is what we stand for um peter bray 
Thank you, and it's wonderful to see you here today in um, London. Just a quick discussion about the issues on disability and yesterday celebrating um, International Women's um, Day. Um, usually it is on the 8th of March, but because of the venue, we couldn't find a venue which would host us on the 8th of March. We found a venue which we could be uh, celebrate together, and that venue was uh, yesterday. And Hackney was um, Star Initiative, um, children, so, so, so children Initiative found a grace, uh, host, uh, hosted the event, and invited UK Africa Diaspora Forum to join in its celebration and its people, and of course, to support the push towards um, promoting gender for women and of course um, hashtag uh, better for women um, and that also hashtag is IWD2019 so we love that about um, yesterday thank you so much to Claire Porter who um, hosted us which was um, the house of speaker in Hackney we really appreciate that um, move and thank you to every person who was watching internationally uh, all the way in Guyana all the way in Nigeria Kenya backing Lewisham um, different people. I was not able to call the names yesterday. Reception was quite low yesterday, but there you go. We catch up now, and I tell you what, it's really, really wonderful to see every single person always. Um, thank you so much uh, for everybody watching. And she instantly can work out the root cause of the problem and get a, get a solution to it. Because it's, it's just, that, that's, that's, her, that's her skill. Oh. And, and it's a very rare Bear skill that, that, that can be someone who everyone else has given up. Mm. And then they pass them on to Sue and then the solution. Mm.
sorry, she's just picked up her cup. So we're just uh, holding on um, and then um, coming back to you shortly. Um, um, so yeah, just um, discussing the issues about disability the issues surrounding parents who are looking after Sorry children um, the, um, 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 so to looking after children who have disability mm -hmm. but on top of that um, cons looking out um, for even as you're watching from Kenya Nigeria and I can see Kibet Kitoni um, what is the issues in Kenya with persons with disability? Just talking to parents and also talking to persons with disability is absolutely critical to hear their views. Yes. And thanks for that. Um, they're talking about interventions and bringing back Sister Grace here with you. Yes, so you were telling us about interventions here. The coaches, the coaches actually, it has to be practical. Mm -hmm. Funding is needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was looking at the paper today. Yes, I was looking, there was an information on Facebook that Almost per child, high or something, mm -hmm. caught from each child in school. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. for persons with disability? Oh, oh, for the, in the last 2015 to 2015 to 2018, almost uh, 30 million. Mm -hmm. The shortfall is about 30 million. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's really sad. And when I'm happy that when a child is not even, and with, even with the education health program, for me, I think it, even though they said it's a duty, I think there's an artificial interpretation to education health program. And even when they get the education health care program, the, the outcomes are not really achieved within the short space of time because they are not, even the teachers, they don't do capacity building when the education health care, um, education health care plan was introduced. There wasn't any training, there wasn't any awareness, there wasn't any training for teachers to know how they can support those students to be able to reach those outcomes. So they expect you that within that short space of time, the child should be able to reach those outcomes. They're not taking into consideration that every child has different learning styles and that should be introduced. We understand. And they are not, I don't know whether, even when they do the review, they, Things have changed. Things have changed. Even when they are doing the assessment, there should be professionals there. And the, it's the duty of the professionals to work together. So it's the education, health, and the social services. But because of the money involved, you understand, some of them pass a book. So you know, it's not our own duty anymore. We've paid for two years, so social services should take it. I, I experienced that. I experienced that. And then um, they start using terms like, unless it is exceptional. Exceptional, uh, for exceptional cases, that's when education will pay for the, after five years till when the child is worth. Well. Yeah. Five, 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 five years, yeah. But then the, some people, children, they stop it when oh, after 19 yeah, yeah. years. So some children don't even get it for 21, 22, some people 23. Get stopped, get stopped after like year 11. Yeah. It definitely stops when you're at university. Yeah. So I, 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 we don't really understand what the education healthcare plan. I think the whole idea is to, from my experience of raising a child with disability, the whole experience is just to reduce costs for the government, not for us. And it's not even in the best interest of, of those children, the service users. And y you can imagine the effect on the mental well-being of of, of, of the parents. And the Which, carers. If they're not careful, it can transfer. There can be a transfer of mm -hmm. Because you're tired, you are overwhelmed. You fight. Fighting can overwhelm. And the fact that some people don't listen. So, as a professional, even if they want to do the best for your child, the ethical dilemma there is the fact that they need to cut this. They cannot afford this. And the staff, the professional that's coming to you, working for your child, at the end of the day, she needs the money to pay for her own bills, but she won't get it because it's beyond the professional control, even if she wants to help. You understand? But then it's, it's just an appearance act, as you say, that is stopping it. And it's so, so overwhelming, tiring, tiring, tiring. It's just the
You get a system, you do your environment, you can protect them. So the tools that you talk about earlier have given me resilience. Each exactly. tool has brought a different type of resilience to me. Yeah. So my my aspiration is to, I suppose, gradually wean myself from working full time in local government. Mm. They know that. Mm-hmm. And to um, move more towards using what I wrote about because I want to help in a deeper way than I can do in my day job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, that, and, 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 and that is causing me, that is causing me <laughs> mental health problems <laughs> yes, because yes. I have, you know, spent £30,000 on my own money. I don't own any bricks, so I can't sell a house. So I've, I've spent money I don't have. I've speculated because I want my life to have meaning. I started off yesterday the conversation, yeah. you know, with that phrase I heard from that person, you know. What do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered that as a person who's been through traumas, bereavement, learning yeah, difficulties, autistic. Or, autistic challenges, you know, lots of personal challenges, bullying, and things I don't necessarily want to put on Facebook, then basically I've walked the journey, I know what it's like, and I've got a sister who's got three autistic kids, so I know from her, her, if you two were sitting here, you'd be saying the same things. Mm. So, and I've lived it. So I want to leave a legacy that, so that um, parents, kids and children mm. know that it's possible to be different and to have suffered, mm. but still to be of intrinsic value. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because like, if I knew, your, if I your knew, purpose from if, your experience, if I you. knew, if I knew that I was of intrinsic value, a lot of my suffering would have been e not all my suffering, mm. but uh, uh, I I can still beat myself up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can still beat myself up because mm. you know I'm sixty and I haven't got any material wow. to she show good. It. She looks good, Friday. She looks like she, her face is like, as David me. would say, she looks half a, you know, half her age. You know, she's got a baby she face. And good. yeah, yeah, you look, you know. But, but that's because this passion yeah. is, is um, I'm sure it's keeping, I'm like a Dorian Gray painting. I'll, I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably end up looking like <laughs> oh, a tribal woman with 150. Yeah. To leave that legacy, and I'm not letting debt or fear stop me. The end. That's good. And I tell you what, this is. Anybody that knows any anybody that wants to contribute to my plan, (laughs) bring them on. We'll bring them on. Um, today here. Just a wonderful conversation. Thank you so much, uh, Comrade Gray Star Initiative, uh, Star Children's Initiative. Um. Um, founder and uh, we she said Julietta have to meet um Sue before she travels back to Wales and you know all right we are still um making sure we're looking at that time she she um she's reminding me but I tell you what everyone who's watching Nigel Orchard thank you for coming on um uh, Jethua thank you for coming on Angela Gorman all the way in Cardiff, many thanks for coming in. Ola TJ, lovely to see you. Kibet, thank you so much. Odedeye, thank you so much. I did have the volume up um, and I know we were speaking a little bit low. Hope you can um, hear us now very well. Um, Samuel Dinesi, many thanks. Ella Patel, lovely to see you. And I tell you what, you know, we want to continue these conversations. Yes. We want to bring this conversation right down across wherever you are. Matters to do with persons with disability should not be neglected. Matters to do with elderly well, people so should so not be de- neglected. Matters to do with welfare issues should not be neglected. As you can see, some of the things we speak about, just as just a normal day, 
but here we are with um, people who care about society, people who will bring and engage these conversations. And um, someone is asking African Wonder Woman. Yes, African Wonder Woman getting involved and mm -hmm. of course enabling these kind of conversations absolutely critical promoting uh, i remember once uh, myself and grace was speaking about the un and one of the things um she was bringing out is um when you uh, the, the people with disability are classified on health and we needed to have a different category which she had identified and that really wowed me because she was looking at um, the SDG goals, which we promote as UK Africa Diaspora Forum. Anyway, I will leave you and love you. How was it for you yesterday, Grace? How do you feel? Yeah, fine. Yes. I feel so satisfied. The yes. Feedback has been really positive. Mm -hmm. I felt really inspired. Mm -hmm. New people like Sue. Yeah. So and some other people. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, um, and thank you for yeah, the work that you do. Hosting us. Yes. And thank you for the work that you do. Um, thank you to every single person that turned up yesterday mm -hmm. and everybody who was watching us yesterday. We remember them. What is your call of action uh, and what would you love to be your call of action, Sister Grace? Ah, we take it from there. We're not resting. <laughs> so we the continue. Goes on. Yes, so we continue and um, the we call of action. We on our efforts. Yes. We just, until we get results. Until we get results. We, can, we keep pushing. We keep pushing. Not you pushing alone because it can be really exhausting. Mm -hmm. But then you get people like Sue, mm -hmm. like Juliet, like Laddie, like mm -hmm. Princess, like Fumi, like. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cancelo Afolabi, mm. uh, uh, House of Speaker, Afolabi, 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 right? Yes. Pushing together yes. to get results. So it's, we are on a journey. Thank you. We can't relent at this stage. Right. For the sake of the future, our future children. Thank you. We so. Need to fight. Yeah. And thank you Warrior. for. <laughs> warrior <laughs> anyway greetings to tonia maka who calls uh, who is princess warrior as well yeah. so many many thanks for that until then it's a good day from united kingdom i hashtag i w d 2019 we love you all for watching and whatever you do ensure that you do one good thing today if you haven't started in your boroughs, in your constituency to talk about things that can improve people, persons with disability. And yesterday we thanked the Norwegian lady who really sang beautifully. We want to remember the blind and we want to remember every single person um, uh, who was with us yesterday. Many thanks. See you later. We'll speak soon. Bye-bye. Hold on.